What's up? It's your boy, Mr. Perfect, and I'm back with another video. This time it's just a, uh, a vlog. I'm just vlogging. I ain't really doing nothing. I don't have anything special going on right now. But two songs just dropped, and they're both by my brothers. One is called Get It, Get a Bag, and the other is called Movie Clips, and bro, <clears throat> they dope as hell. Them songs dope as hell. I don't know if y'all heard them or not, but go listen to them. It's called Get a Bag by Jinx and CJ So Cool. And money clip, money clips also uh, featuring royalty, and I ain't never heard a rapper or nothing, but she she was doing her thing on there. I ain't even gonna lie, beats is tight. I mean, tight production is dope. Yeah, my brothers got some, and I hit them up. They said they got more coming. I don't want to spoil nothing, whatever they got going, but yeah, it's dope. But like I said, I'm just vlogging. Uh, I wasn't doing nothing but watching Netflix. This show called Dope. Any of y'all seen that on Netflix? They be having like the uh, the dope dealers. They be recording them like they be like vlogging. Then the police be vlogging. Then they be having even the crackheads vlogging. They ain't vlogging, but it's like a it's showing what they do their uh, daily life. I'm like, but how is this show even made? Like, is the dope boys really telling them on themselves? Is this show like a one of those reality the scripted reality shows like? Because if it ain't, like, in the dope, dealers really telling on themselves. They're really on video telling about their life. Nigga, like, really? Really, nigga? Even if you're covering in your face, it don't matter, bro. You snitching on yourself. Like, I thought y'all was supposed to be doing it not to be seen. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if the show's scripted or not. It is good. Good. I am watching it, though. I ain't even on front. But it, I just found that kind of weird. But yeah, like I said, my brother's two songs, they got out. They pretty dope. I can't wait for uh some more, whatever they got next coming. They need to drop like one like every day until Christmas or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> what else is going on? What else is going on? Christmas is coming up. Uh I have to do a little Christmas shopping. Not a lot. Uh, my girl's gonna do that. <laughs> I ain't with that. I mean, it's cool and all, but yeah, that's a headache. Anybody like shopping? Like, I like shopping for shoes and stuff, like outfits, but like toys and stuff like that. Nah, cause my kids they play with it for like one week and then they won't pick it up, or they'll break it. Like, I'm just wasting my money on that for no reason. But yeah. That's that. Uh, can't wait for Christmas to come. Uh, yeah. What else? Uh, I was just thinking about something that I was about to say. Uh, hmm. I forgot. It'll come back to me. Whatever. But I'm trying to make this, trying to vlog. My girl was like, yeah, you should vlog. People want, you ain't got to do nothing, just talk. People might relate to that. So I'm like, okay. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to try to do it. Try to keep it going for at least like 10 minutes. Uh, not focusing on it. And thanks. I just said what I was thinking was going to come to me. And I just turned on Instagram. That giveaway my brother is doing. Yo, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win. I, I want an iPhone 8. I'll take an iPad. I don't need the gift cards, but shit. If, we, if I win one of those, I'll use that. People keep tagging me like, nigga, you ain't gonna win because you tag me. Stop tagging me. I'm trying to win myself. <laughs> no lie, nigga. I don't feel like buying my own phone, even though I can, but I don't want to. That's a headache right there. What is today? Today, Friday. Kids is out of school. My son. Hooping season is over. Man, he did pretty good. I ain't even gonna lie. My son was hooping. He had some of his moments, but overall, my son did good. And I think they gave, uh, did this little give MVP of the season. They gave it to this little girl. But I'm like, why she get it? She was a hoop. I ain't even gonna front. She was a hooper. She was hooping her, herself off. Can't cuss. I'm trying to stop cussing. But she was hooping her tail off. But they had her in like most of the game. 
And what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to have them in, in one, the first quarter, in the third quarter, or either the second and the fourth. Like my son, he came in in the second and the fourth quarter. But, yeah, they gave her MVP. She was hooping, but my son was hooping too. When they won against each other, it was one game apiece. My son was busting, busting heads both games. They weren't really guarding each other, but, yeah, my son should have got MVP. That's me being biased and not biased. I don't care. But if y'all ain't seen those, those I got some videos up of my son hitting buzzer beater. He hit a buzzer beater. Yep. I got him on camera. Go check that out if y'all haven't seen that. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, Eminem new album. A lot of people shitted on that album. Excuse my friend, my language. A lot of people. They said that album was whack, but honestly, I liked it. It was some songs on there that was like, uh, what the fuck is this? But, excuse my language. What the heck is this? Like that, uh, black boy, black boy, something like that song was whack as hell. But, it has, he was talking about some real stuff. I can't lie. Then he had the production was crazy on that. Uh, I don't know who produced on the album, but I, th them beats was going hard. It was really going hard. Eminem was still going hard. He was always lyrical. Like, what? You want him to dumb it down for you? <laughs> you want you want him to Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang? <laughs> I ain't hate no little pump or whoever made that song, but it's whatever. But is that which I was expecting? That people was talking about Eminem went pop. Like, where did he go pop at? Nigga, I heard hip hop, nigga. I heard rap guy in that. Like, I think people were saying it was trash because they heard other people say it was trash. They didn't really go listen to it themselves. Like, nigga, did you go buy the album? What? I know you ain't bootlegged. So, whatever. I like the album. Uh, What else album came out? That Jeezy album came out. It was dope. It was... I don't want to say it was dope. What? I give it like three and a half stars out of five. Maybe. But five star on this album was the, the J. Cole and Kendrick. I was fucking with that. Excuse my language. I was messing with that song. Everybody should know I'm a big J. Cole fan. Super huge J. Cole fan. But... Other than that, that he had a song with uh, Rick Ross. I don't know which I, uh, if y'all remember, them two used to be beefing back in the day. But I guess they hatched things up. They made a song. It was a forgetful song because I don't remember it. Only song I remember on that was the J. Cole and Kendrick. But it was dope. It was all right. <laughs> G's still doing his thing after what? He been in the game since 2005, 2000. Yeah, 2005, so. 12 years since his first album came out. His first official album. Uh, I don't know how long he been out before then, but since I know, I've been knowing about him for like 12 years, so that's what I should say. Uh, Boosie album came out called Boopock. At first when I heard him say Boopock, I'm like, uh, nah. But then I kept saying it. I'm like, Boopock, like Tupac, yeah. And the album is pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie, Boosie album is pretty dope. I really wasn't checking for it in, in the beginning, but yet he be advertising so much, you be like, okay, what's the hype about? <laughs> Even though Boosie always kill it, but still. He one of those artists that you know is decent, but you forget about him. And then you hear it again, you're like, oh yeah, he was dope. But yeah, that album was dope. Uh, Music-wise, there was a, pro a lot of stuff going on. It was some other albums that came out. Uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, hear like that nerd album. I'm not checking for for real. His production is nice, but yeah, I ain't checking for nerd. Cardi B came out with a new song today. I don't know. I like Cardi B. For real, for real. I like her, but I ain't checking for. <laughs> it's just me. I probably get attached to it. I got attached to Bodak Yellow late. 
like super late. That song came out in summertime. I'm just now listening to it. I just thought it was a disrespectful song to niggas. Because I seen this one video on Instagram, this girl singing that to a nigga, and she got her hand in his his face. I'm like, oh, snaps. She bold, ain't she? What else came out? What's that? Star Wars is out. I don't know if many of y'all know, but I am a Star Wars fan. I ain't no geek at it. I'm a geek about it, but I do mess with stars, Star Wars. And I got to see that. I got to go see it. Honestly, that was the first movie me and my girl went to go see. It was Star Wars. <laughs> Crazy, right? So we got to see that again. Oh, yeah. Story to tell. Okay, so I seen my grandma. I went to go see my grandma uh, on my dad's side, my dad's mom. And I ain't seen her in a while, and I brought my daughter. And this is her first time seeing my daughter. So it was good, all fun and games. And then she come, you know how grannies or grandparents come up to you with the money, try to, like, shake your hand with it? So I seen a 20 on the outside, and it was, like, a pretty thick a lot of money so I'm like oh snaps I can't wait to count this when I get back in the car so going on she's holding Athena Athena laughing at her and stuff had a good time it was nice seeing my granny so I told my granny I'm like yeah I gotta go it's time for me to go cause I wanted to count the money I ain't gonna lie it was nice seeing my granny nice talking to my grandpa but yeah I was focused on that $20 bill and that water money Tell me why. I get to the car, me and my girl, and this is how bad it is. I think, did my girl put my daughter in the car? I don't know. She probably did. No, I did. I ain't even gonna lie. But I told my girl she could drive back home because I was about to count the money. Pulled it out. It's a 20 in all ones. You know how shitty I was? Excuse my language. But I was pretty shitty. And it was pretty funny because when my grandma had gave me the money, she's like, I ain't seen you in a while, so here you go. So I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a couple hundred. No lie. But she gave me a 20 and 10 ones. You're a funny one, grandma. You probably never see this video, but somebody going to see it and they're going to tell you about it. That I thought she was pretty funny. That's why I love my granny. Because she's pretty funny. Like I said, that's the, uh, my dad's mom. She's 82 years old. That's crazy. My dad's mom was 82. And my mom's mom is only like 68 or 67. I don't know. One of the two. She just turned that eight December 20th. Happy birthday to my granny. Uh, I know you're going to see this. It's funny, like, she she's younger, so she watches YouTube and stuff. But my other granny was like, what's YouTube? I'm like, uh, see, there's famous on there and Jinx. She's like, yeah, I don't know who YouTube is. <laughs> but my grandpa was like, yeah, I be on YouTube every night. I'm like, Bro, what you mean you be on YouTube? What you be looking for? Nah, shout out to my grandpa. Thank God I have all my grandparents still living. Yes. May not have my father living, but I have my grandparents. It's nice to be able to talk to them, talk to them, tell them you love them. Don't be one of those people that like they the grandparent finally passed away and then like, oh, I wish I could have did this and that. No. Tell your parents, your family, you love them while they're here. You won't feel so bad later on. Uh, I don't know. But, what's going on? What else is going on? Y'all know who I'm tired of seeing on Instagram? Plies. Plies stay posting stuff. Like, bro, some of it be funny, but sometimes I be just, just scroll on. Like, bro, you post a lot. Too much. Like, damn. How do you always got something to say? It be funny, I ain't gonna front, but it be funny. But, damn, then you always got something? Something is always going on. It's 
this nigga almost his Instagram video. I mean, post our videos. Give me how I feel about the CEO of Papa John stepping out. That's true. I do not eat Papa John's. Papa John's, I don't even, nigga, I can't remember the last time I touched a Papa John's pizza door. Like, I don't remember the last time going in Papa John's. Damn. I don't eat Papa John's. As a matter of fact, I am now transitioning into being a vegan. I know most of y'all are like, this nigga about to be a vegan. I'm not talking about, like, vegan life, this, that. Like, I'm not about to be one of those people that you always see posting vegan stuff on their page. No. But I am I am a vegan. I'm transitioning into it, me and my girlfriend. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty hard. Because I've been so used to eating meat all my life. I'm like, dang, I can't get full with just vegetables and shit. I mean, excuse my language, but I can't just get full of vegetables and, what, peanuts and fruit? It's cool and all, but... Sometimes I just need something to fill me up. But I watched this movie called What the Health. And yeah. That every time I think about it, I want some meat, I think about that video. That video that movie made me literally throw up because watching what was going on and what was in my body. So I don't know if you should be a vegan like me or if you thought about it. It's not easy. It really isn't, but if you watch that movie even if you don't want to be a vegan, you should still watch that movie. You should know what's going on in your body, where people, the government is feeding you. Yeah, but we're going to see how this go. And I ain't even going to front. I ain't even going to uh, lie. I might slip up or two. I might slip up. I don't know. I'm not saying I will, and I'm not planning on doing it, but I'm just saying. Don't crucify me if I, I want a burger from Wendy's, okay? Wendy's was my favorite restaurant. But, like I said, I'm trying to cut all that out. Now, just thinking about Wendy's may make me want to go get some. But nope. Gotta stay strong. Yeah, so, uh... I didn't expect this video to be going this long. And I didn't know I could talk so much. But since I'm doing it, I might as well continue, right? We had like 18 minutes. Hey, let's shoot for 20. Expect the unexpected. I didn't expect to keep talking to you, motherfuckers. Okay? Okay? But anyways, uh, what is going on? Like I said, that, that giveaway my brother is doing, yes, I can't wait. Uh, hopefully I win. I've won one giveaway, which his first giveaway was. It was a dog tag with the wolf on it, and it had my name on it. Bro, that was like two years ago since I won something. Like, dang, let me win again. It's going on 2018. That was 2015, bro. Dang. I'm an actual fan of my brothers. Some of y'all don't understand that. Like, I'm really a fan. When I say I'm really a fan, like, I'm checking for their videos. Like, dang, what's going on? Why you ain't posting? Like, it's funny to me. It's like I'm looking on the outside in, but I'm also in. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, because I can just call them, FaceTime them, and like, dang, what's going on? 
yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all can't do that, but I can do that. Like, I, I'm a fan with privileges, special privileges, okay? But yeah, it's cool. I'm a fan, so I want to win the giveaway too. Some of y'all are like, you well, you just gonna ask them for one, but no, nigga, I want to win. I'm a fan, okay? I don't see it as favoritism. Like I said, I ain't won since his first giveaway. Nigga, how many giveaways have he done? Check the odds of that. Eight to one. Yeah, that's not good. But, anyways, I ain't mean to run off about a giveaway. Because that I still might not win. <laughs> that's the funny part. Nigga, I'd be mad as shit. Them sent videos of freaking sending to other people knowing I was trying to win. Then y'all gonna make me call them and ask for it. Like, bro, you know, I really like iPhone 10 right about now. It is Christmas. I know you'll celebrate it, but I do. <laughs> no lie. But, that's what's going on. Yo, these shoes I want, y'all know I love up tempos, right? They got some shy ones coming out. No, they came out. They're on Nike.com. I seen them the other day. It was just supposed to drop like last week, a couple days ago. I got to get them. I got to get the shy ones, which is like red and black. And then I got to get the ATL ones because I'm from ATL. That's where I was born. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. So I got to get both ones. Or y'all can get them for me for Christmas. Either way, it don't matter. <laughs> Which is. Yeah. I want to address another thing. Like, I seen somebody on my Instagram live video talking about I shouldn't smoke. I'm like, bro, what do you mean I shouldn't smoke? It's bad for you. I guess you thought I was smoking cigarettes. Like, bro, I don't smoke cigarettes. What I smoke is legal in some states, but it's also illegal in some other states. But that don't matter. What I smoke is good for me, okay? I ain't hurt nobody with this. Like, I ain't breaking no laws when I'm doing this. Get off my back. Okay? I'm human too. You probably don't smoke, which you probably drink. <laughs> Drinking is worse than smoking. Let's be honest. Ain't nobody, you ain't heard nobody uh, overdose on the weed, have you? Nope. You ain't heard nobody get weed poisoning like you get alcohol poison. No. Okay. So stop criticizing weed smokers. Okay. Everybody ain't perfect. Except for me because I am Mr. Perfect. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> anyway, somebody was like, yeah, you should come up with a different name and include your name in your, your name. Like for my YouTube channel. And I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, true, because I don't want people noticing me. I'm like, oh, Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect. Well, like, that's like, no. I ain't no rapper or nothing. I ain't no, I don't know. I ain't no wrestler. <laughs> Gucci Man used to be Mr. Perfect anyway, so honestly. What should I say? What should my name be? I know it ain't too many people who watch my videos, but for the people who do watch them, what should it be? My name is Kenneth L. Brady. L, I did say L, as in L. DeBarge, but it's just E-L. People be like, uh, when they be writing my name down, they're like, uh, is this your middle name or is this just the initial? I'm like, well, person. If it was just the initial, it would be only one letter. It wouldn't be two. Do the, you do the math. It is L. I asked my mom, why does she name me L? And she was like, oh, I love El Debar so much. She's like, well, you could have been named L Brady. I'm like, well, that's true. <laughs> but I ain't mean to talk about my middle name. That was just what was in the air. Uh, yeah. So what should my name be? Ken Ken? I don't know. Kel? That's my first initial and my middle name together. Kale Brady? I don't know. 
it was the funniest thing back in uh my military when I was in the military. I was first in. Is my homeboy called me B Rad. And I'm like, nigga, why you call me B-Rad, nigga? Because he was like this Brady without the Y. Just B-Rad. But I'm thinking like B-Rabbit from 8 Mile. Nah, nigga. <laughs> but that was a dope. I ain't even gonna lie. That was a dope nickname. But I it never stuck. He was the only person who called me that. Yeah. But what should it be? Y'all, I want y'all to name me. Like, for real. Well, I don't want you, y'all to name it. I want to be able to use what y'all said. Like, go off of what y'all said, but not with, use what y'all said. If you get my drift, you can catch my drift. Yo, we've been here for like 25 minutes. How far can I go, y'all? <laughs> not just playing. But, uh, yeah. Plage, not over photo is about to say Plage just posted again. God damn. Anyways, uh, Dave East supposed to be coming out with a new album. I know he going on tour, the Paranoia uh two. I heard a snippet from one song, and bro, I'm like, yes, ready. I'm ready for it. He even though he just released uh Karma, the mixtape Karma. Which was dope, pretty dope. I want to hear what's on the uh, Paranoia too. It was crazy. Like I knew about Dave East, the basketball player. I knew that he rapped, but I knew him more of a basketball player a couple years ago. And I'm just now starting to listen to him now, like in 2017, a couple months ago. I'm like, who is Dave East? I heard what song. I heard one song from. Him. I'm like, bro, this nigga is dope. And ever since then, I've just been listening to his all the music. Dropped Paranoia, I got that. That was dope. Uh, dropped Karma, got that. Got Kyrie Chanel mixtape, got that. I got a lot. If that's like, I want to go to one of his concerts. He was in Chicago like a couple, what? months ago I ain't go I had to work next time you come around where I am I'm trying to like go to a concert or something I'll be in Vegas by then but still um, I don't know we've been here for like 27 minutes <laughs> I'm like done talking like, I got the cotton mouth I ain't gonna lie I know y'all don't like to see me smoke on camera, so you know, before I had a camera on, guess what I was doing? <laughs> I'm just funny. But, my babies want to go take pictures today. Uh, I wonder how those ones turn out. My baby girl is like so beautiful. Y'all see, I be posting her a lot. Her little light skin and stuff. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to lock you in the house, bro. I'm not sure I'm gonna do you right, but you can't go outside. Not looking like that. Not light skinned with the eyes. <laughs> not just playing. That's how I treat all my babies. Man. I'm so protective of my babies. My girls and my boys. You know, KJ getting big on me. He about to be nine next year, yo. My oldest son is going to be nine years old in 2018. That's close to a... Uh, that's close to a teenager. And I'm glad, like, he's getting into his basketball and, like, he's knowing what he's doing now. So when he get older, bro, it's, it's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble for everybody. My son is going to be a hooper that you going to Google and be like, dang, what he doing on YouTube? That's CJ? No, that's Mr. Perfect, son? Or, dang, see, that's what, that don't sound right, Mr. Perfect, son. No. 
No. You gotta come come up with something, y'all. Y'all gotta come. We gotta come up with something. It can't be Mr. Perfect. Because in the future, I don't want you calling me Mr. Perfect. Like, CJ so cool. CJ, CJ, that's always been his name. So. It's so cool. I guess that's that's what's up. He can live with that. But me, no. I can, it can't be Mr. Perfect. Nope. Can't do it. As a matter of fact, by the end of this video, I need to come up with a name. I can't stop this video till I come up with a name. So, what, we at 30 minutes now? I guess we're going to be here. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, but for real. I'm going to post this video. But hopefully, this, I can post this out by tonight. As soon as when I'm done with it, I'm posting it. I'm going to try. I ain't going to say I am. It's 50% chance I will. It's 50% chance I won't. But here's the deal breaker. If I can't come up with a name, if my girl comes in, the video has to end. I'm a person, like, if you come in, it's going to distract me. So, whenever she comes, it's when this video ends. Hopefully, I'll be able to find a name by the end of the, that time. Or what should we say? Is Kel, Kel Brady? Nope. I don't like people saying my, my whole name. Kel, what up, Kel? Nope, because that's too close to Kel's, so R. Kelly. I do not want to be even mixed up with that nigga. No. He dope, though. My girl loves some R. Kelly, but no. No. So, Kel is out the window. Uh, Ken King? Hmm. What up, Ken Ken? Hmm. We can put Ken Ken in. Up there. I don't know people, I don't know any celebrities or uh, in anybody named with the name Ken Ken. Even though I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people with the name Kenneth out there with the nickname of Ken Ken. I'll be like the famous one. It's like I know there's a bunch of CJs out there. You feel me? But Ken Ken, I like that. What else? Or just Brady? Since that's always been my name, especially in the, uh, my military. In the military, you go by your last name. Like, your first name is your last name. So, Brady, that's who I was. But Brady what? And y'all can be the Brady Bunch? <laughs> nah, but I don't want no copyright infringement. Talk, somebody talk about I stole their name, but. Nigga, I really am a Brady, and I have, like, five kids, so we are the Brady Bunch. So it is me. Like, how could I steal what y'all came up with? If if y'all was never there, I would have had this name because I would have thought of that. Hmm. Maybe we could fight that in court, but who knows? Uh, we, just, we ain't got to go out the Brady Bunch. Y'all can say something. Brady in the gang. In the gang. Brady in the game. Hmm. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think about Brady. Ken Ken and Brady. It was Babyface Brady, but my cousin was like, eh, that was my nickname. You're going to have to come up with something else. Like, really, Pebbles? <laughs> That's your name already. You don't need another nickname. Your name is Pebbles? Yes, I'm talking to you, Pebbles, my cousin. You don't need baby face Brady, okay? <laughs> I'm not throwing shade at you. I do love you, my little co my big cousin, like that. But yeah, that's why I stop using it, baby face Brady. Well, I could have used baby face Ken, BFK. I could have went by that slogan, but. Freddie Gibbs from my town, who's also from Gary, uses BFK, but his is Babyface Killer. But I don't want to be looking like I'm copying off him, but I'm just a Babyface Killer. But also, Babyface, the singer, his name is Kenneth. 
So I can't be Babyface because his name is Babyface and his name is Kenneth. I don't know. So that's out the window. <laughs> but mm. what else? I'm just waiting on them to come back home. Uh, they was taking pictures with Santa today. I know it's crazy though. Like, I just heard about this dude Chinks. Well, I I don't want to say I just heard about him, but I knew about him, but I never listened to his music. But I was on Apple Music, and his song came on. And I'm like, dang, what's this? And this is a dope song. So I'm like, oh, I wonder what else he got. He got some dope songs. It's it's sad that I found out about him before he passed. I mean, when I started listening to his music before it passed, but still, I'm glad I did because I know there's no new music coming out. Like, I can't expect something and be disappointed. Well, even though I am disappointed that he won't be releasing music, but it's something you can deal with. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. Tell me what y'all think on the name. Bro, this cut this I don't know if this dude white or what Takeshi sixty nine is that the little pump dude? I don't know, but the dude with the colorful hair and he a blood like Bro, is that's what it's taking to be famous? Do I have to bleach my hair like Eminem <laughs> to become famous? Put some tattoos on my face or something? What? Like, damn, do I have to sell my soul, which I would not do, just to become famous? I would not sell my soul to become famous. Let's take that out of the window. No, I would not be joining the Illuminati. If I ever do blow up, it was not because of the Illuminati. So let's just cut that out the way. <laughs> but do y'all think the Illuminati is real? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think they, they might be real. But I don't think they target black people. I think the Illuminati is a bunch of racist ass white people. Forgive me for thinking that if that's not true. But what they want with some black black they don't even respect respect black people. Rich white people do not respect black people, no matter how much money they get. See, they still disrespect, disrespecting Diddy. You see how Trump is. Trump don't give a fuck who you are. If you ain't white, he don't like you. But I don't think the Illuminati want anything to do with black people, so that's what I think. I think the Illuminati really do run the world. And I do think they have their little secret organization where all these conspiracy theories are going on, like the 9-11. I think that was the setup. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's whatever. But no, I wouldn't tell my soul to become famous. And I don't think anybody would want I don't know. What do I have to offer to the world? Why would I want to become famous? What's, that's a good question. Why would I want to become famous? People are always in your business. They want to know what's going on. They always bother you and message you. I want the wealthiness. Well, I, I can't lie. I do want a little bit of fame. I want people to know who I am. I want to be recognized. You know? I want to make a difference, and that by that way, you have people have to know about you to make a difference. Although you can't make a difference in the world by just doing it, being you. But still, it's not. It's two sides to fame. I know my brother was built for that, even though it has its negatives, like people breaking in your crib and stuff. But still, it could have been worse than that. 
how uh, I'm going to be loved. That's what I'm aiming for. To not have to worry. To just travel the world when I feel like it. You know? Honestly. That's the one thing I do want to do is travel. Even though I've always traveled, like I said in my past videos, like I've always traveled. Been to different countries and stuff. It's different states. But still, there's some places that I've seen so exotic where the beaches are clear, the water is clear, the sand is just like diamonds and glistening. Those are the places I want to go. The, the hotels that's under the water and stuff like that, like, bro, I, I would love to go to those places and just to just stay for a week or so. I will, that's what I'm going to do, honestly. I'm talking about that's what I want, but that's what I will be doing. I can picture myself doing that. When I tell you I'm going to record it, y'all going to remember this video. I promise y'all. Y'all going like, he was right. Hopefully within the next two years. From here to the next two years is when I'm going to make that happen. When the universe is going to make that happen. Because I ain't got to do nothing. I just said what I wanted, and the rest... I'm going to let the worst be taken care of by the universe. Yo. I've been talking for like 41 minutes. My girl was talking about, you need to vlog for like 40 minutes. Okay, babe. I hope you watch this whole video. Because I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, when I make my stuff, I just press the send button and I'm through with it. I don't watch. I check to see the comments and stuff. I hate watching my own videos. That's what my girl was talking about. I was conceited because I like to take pictures. It's not that I like to take pictures, but I like to see progress. I like to see change. Like, I cut all the hair off my face. I like to see it different. I don't want to be one way. Like, remember for one way. But I don't want to see myself on the video. Like, I can be a movie actor, and I will not watch the movie. Like, I'll watch it once after it's made, but I will never watch it again. Well, I won't watch my scenes. Like, I'll probably fast forward. Skip past that part. But yeah. I don't know. We'll see. If that changes. Start seeing myself everywhere. That's going to be crazy. Hey. Apple was talking about they've been slowing down our phones. Every time a new phone came out, like, we didn't know that already. Like, bro, we're not stupid. Every time a new iPhone come out, my phone starts to mess up. And y'all know I wanted to cuss, but I caught myself, so I wouldn't have to say what I always say. But yeah, nigga, we already know y'all been slowing up our phones every time. Y'all want us to get a new phone. Nigga, we don't want to get a new phone. But dang, leave my phone alone, okay? I'm paying you my money, nigga. Is I'm going to upgrade one day. You ain't got to force me to upgrade, nigga. I just got this phone like last year, bro. Yeah. But leave me alone, nigga. Still ain't going to Android. That's what y'all need to understand. Like, it's not about y'all trying to force us to buy something new. We going to buy it? Man, I'm a, well, I don't know about other people, but I'm loyal. I like to upgrade. I don't like to stay with the same thing. Just don't try to force me to do what you want me to do, nigga. Nigga, I'm going to deal with this slow-ass phone. Excuse my language. I'm going to deal with it, nigga. Just whatever. Till I can't cut this mug off. <laughs> yeah. Apple tripping, bro. Still ain't going to no Android. <laughs> nigga, I don't care how bad this kid. Except, only when I... The day... The day when I type the word nigga in my text message and there's no red squiggly line at the bottom, that's the day I will switch to Android. I'll probably get rid of my cell phone. Because you know Android likes to copy everything iPhones do. So, but yeah, the day that happened, bro, it's a wrap. <laughs> nigga, this phone gotta go. As long as nigga keep having the red line under the bottom of it, we cool. Okay. Knowing Trump, that'll be changing real soon. 
real soon. Oh shit. My nigga ain't got a red line under it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Probably because I type it in so much. I need to stop saying the word nigga myself anyway. Hey, so uh, the Ball Brothers going to Lithuania to play basketball? Like, nigga. Why? Jello didn't just transfer to another school. Why you gotta take the little one out of the school? He only, what, a junior? Bro, leave them alone. I know you want what's best for your kids, but sometimes kids need to do what's best for them. I'm pretty sure... You want to stay in high school? I'm like, I would love to go back to high school. Like, for real. It's so much that I wish I could have done back in high school. Don't take me out. Let him go to prom. Let him experience whatever he experienced in while he was in high school. You know he was popular, so he liked, liked that. Well, he still is, but still. He, 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 I'm pretty sure he liked the fame. Probably was distracting him. That's probably another reason he took him out of school. But why the, the nigga was still the when he got to China? Like, you got the money, bro. I don't understand. Like, what? But I also was a teenager, so I don't know. But 19? Nah, I was overseas when I was 19. Nigga, for real? I had to grow up fast. These new kids, I don't know, they having a lot of fun. I ain't having much fun growing up. As a grown up period. Still. I don't know. I'm tired. I gotta go to work. And I gotta post this video. So, we out. Peace.